Sure, you may know the back of your hand pretty well. Whose hands are these? But what about the rest of your body? Ah! Ah! Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Myths, the series that finds the biggest myths that people actually believe and dispels them one by one. Every time you shave it, it's gonna come in thicker and fuller and darker. Oh, that's an old wives' tale, is it? In today's installment, we're counting down the five myths about the human body that had us sent back to biology class. Look at it! Myth number five, gum sits in your stomach for seven years. You made me swallow my gum. Swallowing gum, just don't do it. Put it in the garbage can or keep chewing it until you're close to a garbage can. If you're desperate, find a scrap of paper and wrap it up and then throw it out later. Um, was I chewing gum before? But if you find yourself in a life or death situation where swallowing gum is your last resort, then whatever, go for it. Swallow your gum, now! <laughs> it's true that gum is non-digestible, meaning that your stomach acid can't break it down, but it's not going to stay in your stomach for seven years. If you swallow gum, it passes through your system and comes out the other end with all the other waste. There's no special division in your stomach where gum goes to live out its seven-year prison sentence. Hey, Cupcake, listen good. I want you to swallow that gum and meet me in the coat room in five, four, three, two, now. Myth number four, healthy teeth are white. Look at those pearly whites. It's a common expression used to compliment someone's smile that the average person rarely stops to consider. Store shelves are covered in whitening toothpastes and dental strips that promise to give your teeth a healthy shine and eliminate unsightly yellow staining. Breaking news, teeth are naturally yellow. Yes, coffee and cigarettes can lead to staining, but teeth are not meant to be white. That can only be achieved by bleaching. I know you probably hear this all the time from your food, but you must bleach or something because that is one dazzling smile you got there. And according to dentists, the pursuit of a bright white smile can actually damage the protective enamel on your teeth. All right, let's see those pearly whites. Ah, I'm a piranha. Myth number three, sitting too close to the TV will damage your eyes. Well, kids, the medical professionals have weighed in and here's the verdict. You're not going to permanently damage your eyes by sitting too close to the TV. Eye strain can result from watching too much television, but the same issue will arise if you stare at anything for too long, or if you read in the dark. Eye strain doesn't cause permanent damage, just temporary exhaustion. Will sitting too close to the TV set make me go blind? Not in a million years. The parental guideline dates back to the time of early cathode ray tubes, when parents were legitimately worried about the potential effects of radiation on their children. Oh, and speaking of eyes, carrots don't help you see better. It's good for your eyesight. They're a good source of vitamin A, which is essential for ocular health, but they won't give you 20-20 vision. Oh, why is this now? Myth number two, cracking your knuckles leads to arthritis. It's fun to try and imagine the origin of a myth. In the case of this little piece of fiction, chances are someone simply made it up to stop their friend from annoyingly cracking their knuckles. But in reality, there is no evidence linking knuckle cracking to arthritis. One Dr. Unger reported having cracked the knuckles in his left hand twice daily for 50 years, without ever cracking the knuckles on his right hand. The end result? No difference in the two hands. We know. Anecdotal evidence. Erroneous! Erroneous! Erroneous on both counts! Oh lord, here we go again. But various large-scale studies have been performed over the years, and they have consistently failed to find any correlation or casualty between knuckle cracking and arthritis. Arthritis 5. <laughs> Myth number one. You only have five senses. No, we're not talking about the sixth sense. I see dead people. The myth that we have five senses isn't a government conspiracy to protect us from our true potential. It's just a simplification of the numerous human sensory systems that help us understand the world. As a kid, you learn about sight, smell, touch, taste, and hearing. They're all real, but also a lumping together of various, less easily explained systems. Touch is actually many different senses, including pain, pressure, and temperature. <laughs> Proprioception is a sense of how our body parts relate to each other. Our sense of balance and spatial sense is thanks to the vestibular system in our ears. In reality, we have anywhere between 9 and 21 senses, depending on who you ask. You guys ever agree on anything? So how many of these myths did you believe? Every single one of them. For more factual top 10s and top 5s that won't damage your eyes, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. That feels good. <laughs>